Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm going to show you what I got at the candy store today. Well, I guess on all my, my outings today. Okay, at the paint store, I told you got a gallon of uh, uh, epoxy primer and a gallon of urethane. Got a buffing pad. See you for that in a minute. Black thinner for going to clean up. Urethane reducer. Urethane activator. Epoxy activator catalyst. Epoxy primer. Okay. Uh, Tom Cook says my parts will uh, come out of the mold a lot easier using that rather than your thing. But uh, they tell me at the auto parts store it don't sand very good. You know that your thing's better for sanding so. I'm going to keep on using urethane for my plugs and uh, epoxy for my parts. It's uh, a little bit more than urethane, but what the hey, it's Paul's money. <laughs> no, and here I got my 2108 clear resin. Yeah, same stuff for what I've been using 2108 clear resin. Uh, price went up in October. <laughs> That's my luck. How much? About 20 bucks. Not much. So what else I get from Associated? What did that set do? Okay, I had to get some more fiberglass tape, got some inch and a half, about a 10 ounce, inch and a half wide, and for a couple of them places, I got some half inch. You know, I didn't know they made it this thin. I've needed, you know, some skinny stuff before, but I always cut it off of, uh, you know, strip a piece down. And uh, this will make it a lot easier. Okay, especially like back in this piece right here. You know, in the bottom of that. I don't have to have tape on it. So, okay. So we got it associated. Then we went to the paint store. I already showed you that stuff. Then we went to the candy store. Alright, and the hobby shop. Got me some five minute epoxy. I like that five minute epoxy because I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> and 100 exacto blades. Only way to buy these people. Only way. Okay. That was from the hobby shop. Harbor Freight. Got some new, couple new sanding discs for my big old sander over there. Four bucks. That's a bargain, man. Them, that piece has been on there a year. And I have done some major sanding on that. And it's still not completely wore out. And I've seen this. People had them on sale for $19. Uh, little air buffer. Huh. I needed me one of these little buffers for people needed it bad. Uh, now that saved the fingers. This is a 14 bucks, 16 dollars, something like that. Three inch chromatic polisher. What a bargain. 
2000 RPM, that's a good speed. So, this was the bargain. This was nine bucks, people. Remember me telling you about that? My switch being out in that sander, I always had to unplug it. This, you just step on it and it turns it on, step on it again, turns it off. It's nine bucks. What a bargain. Hey, I've been going through them gloves hard on these big old projects, man. I had to get me another bucket of gloves. And some little acid brushes, spreaders, three packs or three in a pack for two bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And roll of masking tape. That was fun, but all that money gone, man. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. I guess it's always funner when it's other people's money, huh? Okay. Now, someone also asked me why I quit using the bomber timer. Mainly because I forget people. I'll start using it again. I'll start reminding myself to use the Bobo timer. Dang it, that guy gave me this for a reason. Did an awesome job drawing it up. We got to use it. I agree. But I got my other kind of resin on there. I'm trying to talk Butch and Paul into coming down next week. That's what I told them. I said I wouldn't even pull this out of the mold. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pull this mold apart. I will. Tomorrow when this is done, I'll just put it aside and let her set. And jump on them wings. I already got my parting planes done on them wings, people. All I was going to do is put my panel lines on them. I can have them wings ready to mold in a day. I already have my parting planes. Remember when I made that mold a long time ago? So I can have them ready to mold in just a couple days. Get them molded up and have old Paul and Butch pay me a visit in the shop. Come on, people. We got to talk them into coming. Come on. Everybody, let's poke old Butch and Paul. Get to poking. They need to come visit old Bob. I've been down to see them ten times. Because every time they came to see old Bob. Big old zero. <laughs> so come on, everybody. Let's get them down here. Help me out, man. Send them some messages. Tell them to quit their loafing. Time to get busy. Come lay up a thunder, chief. <laughs> Oh, that'd be nice to get old Paul Bush down there. Paul wants to come see this thing done so bad. It ain't even funny. But I'm gonna sit here and try and keep these thing flies off of this. Now we got another bug in here. What is this? What is with the bugs the past couple days? Oh, that's a piece of carpet. That's came out of the air conditioner. That's only in Kansas, man. It was freezing last night. And Hot today. <laughs> when you know you're in Kansas, man. Alright, people, I guess that's all I got. I'll make up some more videos when I get to laying some cloth on here. I'm probably going to put another coat of resin on there. That one was at three. I'll be able to put another one on there probably about 6.30. Six, seven, eight, nine. And that puts me another one on there by nine. Okay. That's the plan. Bam. Then we're going to be laying up cloth at midnight. Midnight to two. Oh, yeah. The beast an hour. <laughs> I'm going to get my most work done, people. When the world's asleep. I'm in my shop. You can just hear my little hammers are going and my compressor kicking on. <laughs> all night long <laughs> but uh, thanks for tuning in everybody this episode of Bob TV tune in next time for some more exciting Thunder Chief building action same Bob time same Bob station this episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision this is a drama free zone